Morning. Good morning. It's Thanksgiving week. You are listening to Wyatt and Josie playing downstairs. Derek is down there. <laughs> She's they're having so much fun. So, um, anyways, it's Thanksgiving week and so good. All right. I want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. I want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Now my soul is glory bound. I want to thank you, thank you, Lord, for saving me. It was a request from my mother. Okay, so this morning is a little different. Um, I had some verses on my um, Gratitude Chronicles thing. I've got a couple of the next ones. Look, I, where did we start? Oh. So far, I have done all of these right here, and I'm boop, 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 right there. And I read, I read ahead. <laughs> um, so, and I was like, you know, I just, you know, there are some days and some weeks that there's like, uh, you know, other, uh, I'm tired people, sorry. Other things that you want to talk about. You know what I mean? So I was like, well, I'm going to wait. This week, or today, I want to talk about living a life that honors God. I was watching my pastors this morning, as I do. And one of them was talking about living a life that honors God. <laughs> and as I was listening to her talk, and thinking about, you know, what was said, I realized that it sounds like, a, not easy, but it sounds like, um, I don't know, it's deceptive, like living a life that honors God. It sounds like it would be blah, blah, blah. But you know what I discovered? If you decide that you want to live your own way and you want to do your own thing, you want to, you want to, be disobedient to the things that God's asked you to do. You want to be rebellious. You want to, you don't want to have anything to do with that. Or whether you decide that you do want to live the way God wants you to do live. And you do want to do the things that he wants you to do. And you do want to live a life that's honoring to God. Either one of those scenarios is the same amount of energy. Just completely different outcomes. This is what I've discovered. It is the same amount of energy in my 20s and 30s to live the way I was living, to do the things I was doing, to think whatever. Same amount of energy as it is to get up early in the morning, have time with the Lord, see what he wants me to do, try to be the person that he's wanting me to be. Same amount of energy. The outcome is completely different. This hand, when I'm living my own way, doing my own thing, the outcome is not good. <laughs> and the consequences are long lasting. And the um, feeling is like misery. This hand, the outcome is always blessed because all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purposes. It's not easy, right? I didn't say it was easy, and it's not without difficulty. It's so dry out, and my lips are chapped, you know, a little bit. Anyways, so that's why I'm like, Ugh, I got like a chapped lip. Anyway, who cares? Moving on, squirrel. But the thing is that you choose your own hard. Either you choose to be blessed have peace in your life, have joy, and have all of the good things that God has planned for you, the good works, the effect that you can have on people's lives, and all of you, you choose this, 
which is also difficult. It takes discipline. It takes obedience. It takes forgiving people. It takes not being offended. It takes letting things go. It takes putting yourself last in the sense of not caring for yourself, right? But I mean in your feelings where you can live this and it's not like it's easy, but the outcome is much different than if you try to live your own way. You know what I mean? Like, I think sometimes people just decide that knowing God is too much. It's boring. It's too much. I'm going to have to give up all these things. And uh, I'm selfish. I'm narcissistic. It's all about me. I don't care about anybody else. And I don't want to live that way. But it's misery. It is the same amount of energy. <laughs> right? Same amount of energy. It's a lie from the enemy. And ultimately, living this way causes depression, anxiety, it causes all of these things because it's a lie from the pit of hell. And so by absorbing in this, you are just, it's like, it's like uh, slowly taking a little knife, slice, 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 slice. You're like, well, that's not that bad. And pretty soon your hand's cut off, <laughs> you know, it's the same amount of energy. Only the problem that we have is pride, right? So we're going to spend the same amount of energy whether we live the way God wants us to live and we're blessed. We have peace that passes understanding, not as the world gives, but as God gives. Joy, we have purpose, we have favor. Like all of this is over here on this hand. Same amount of energy and you could have complete misery and live your own way. But do you know what the difference is? Pride. It's all selfish pride. The only difference between living in misery and doing your own thing and living the way God wants you to live and being blessed and favored and having peace in your life is pride. That's the only difference. Same amount of energy. But we believe the lie from the enemy that this way is too much work. It's boring. And God's boring. Have you read the Bible? I mean, my gosh, there are so many crazy things in the Bible. Listen to Listen, listen to Lisa Harper. Lisa Harper is freaking awesome. She goes through the Bible and she puts it in a way that you can understand. She does this one on Hosea and how <laughs> he marries this girl, you know, she's got the, she lives in a trailer and she's got like the mini skirt and like her dad's drinking Bud Light. <laughs> she goes through, <laughs> anyway, oh my God, she's so funny. But listen, you get to choose your hard and the older I get, the more I've discovered I just don't, I spend enough time choosing myself and my own way. And because I chose my own way, I have plenty of consequences that are freaking forever. <laughs> I've got all kinds of things. And this didn't make me happy at all. But the thing is, ch choosing God and choosing a life that honors God. It's not like it's easy or everybody agrees with you or all your circumstances are, are like peace and joy and happiness. It is hard, just like this is hard, but the outcome is much more blessed. I have peace in my spirit. I don't have to live with anger and unforgiveness and bitterness and resentment. I can let things go and I can fulfill the purposes that God has in my life. I can live in a peaceful way in my spirit so that I can be a salt and light to people that need that, right? Same, same amount of energy, totally different outcome. With that said, I would like to put a PS. I would like to put a little bullet, a little beep, a little, what's it called? I'd like to put a disclaimer. I'd like to put a disclaimer. <sighs> living a life that honors God and living in peace and joy in your spirit means you have to sacrifice yourself. You have to put down all the things. You might be right. You might be justified. You might be offended about something and you might be right. But living a life that honors God means that you have to put that down and it's not because you're honoring those other people and it's not because you're giving them some sort of special little, you know, whatever. It's because 
You don't want to swallow the poison and expect it to kill somebody else. It will not. It will not. You are going to be the one that it kills. And listen, I'm going to tell you a little secret. There are days, not days, every day. <laughs> there are days. Like, like there are some days that it's not applicable. Listen, every day. Listen, every day. And sometimes while I'm in the middle of praying about it, God, help me to release this. Help me to let this go. Help me to whatever. What, right? And in the middle of praying about it, I'm taking it back from him, explaining and justifying my, my stance. <laughs> Sometimes I will pray about something to release it and immediately pick it back up. I am asking God all day, every day to help me live a better life. It is not like uh, some sort of thing that you just accomplish. It is a journey and a process that you do over the course of your life. <laughs> And sometimes it is literally minute by minute. I'm like, I released that. Why am I still angry? I thought I released it. I am literally picking stuff back up. I'm giving it to God with this hand and sneaky sounds like a toddler taking it back with this hand. I mean, I can't even. <laughs> but I don't want to live this way anymore. This way caused me misery. This way did not bless me. Now, nothing is wasted. Nothing. God uses everything. And the things that you've gone through, whether self-inflicted or not, he is merciful and grace-filled enough to bring all of the things that you have done for good regardless. So even though this way brought me misery, God uses everything. Everything he uses so that I can help benefit other people and because it made me wiser and it... You know, because he's merciful to us. But this way did not cause me peace in my spirit. It did not. It caused me misery. This way is the same amount of energy, but I am choosing to live a life that honors God. Last little disclaimer. If you choose this way, the enemy's going to come for you. He's going to come for you and your relationships. He's going to come for you and your peace. And you're going to feel angry about stuff. You're like, inexplicably, I'm so pissed off this morning. Enemy, <laughs> you have to be wary and you have to fight out loud every day for your peace. You have to speak it out loud and you have just to declare that every day, even if it's minute by minute, you are not going to live this anymore because the same amount of energy that brought you misery is going to bring you peace, purpose, and it's going to bring you the abundant life that God has planned for you. And I'm not talking about like I'm talking about an abundance of influence, joy, peace, that passes understanding, open doors, opportunity, all of the things that God has for you come with living a life that honors God. And you could do that and stop being so prideful and lay down yourself and have this or spend the same amount of energy and live for yourself and be miserable, depressed, anxious, and burn every relationship that you have. The choice is yours. You are welcome. God loves you enough to let you choose that yourself. And I'm telling you right now, because he loves you, he is not going to force you into this. He is going to let you learn the hard way with this. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. I mean, you know, people are going to get to heaven and be so shocked you know, they didn't have a relationship with Jesus at all who died a horrific, horrific. If your son died, your only baby died horrifically to save somebody and they spat on that, how would you feel about that? Just letting you know, God's not going to send you to hell. He is not a God that, that does that. He will not send anyone to hell. No one. He does not desire that anyone suffers, but he will let you choose for yourself. So, I mean, you, he'll let you choose. You can choose his son or not. He's not going to force you. You can choose to live for yourself and be miserable or not. I mean, he's not going to force you. Same amount of energy. I just don't want this outcome anymore. I have enough consequences from being ridiculous. Enough consequences of being dumb. I just want to have this, but this means I've got to sacrifice my pride. I've got to forgive when I don't want to, and I've got to do it every day, all freaking day long, even if I'm right and even if I'm justified. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're a doormat. Mm -mm. You have healthy boundaries because 
because you're a child of God and that's good. But what I am saying is you have got to release things and forgive people easily. You have got to seek God every day so that you could just have peace in your spirit. Or spend the same amount of time and energy doing something else and be miserable. I don't know. I don't want to do that. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say to you guys. I love you so much like a crazy person. Pray for me, please, clearly. And I will pray for you. <coughs> and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving week. Um, that you get to spend time with your family. Please be safe out there. Um, and I'm going to be on tomorrow. I want to do like a Thanksgiving thing tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what the Lord tells me. And then if you're interested, I will tell you too. All right. I love you. And I mean it, peanut. Mwah.